With periods, is it a gush, a small leak, or more of a drip every so often? Do women get the pee shiver? I know sometimes I'll be peeing and there's an uncontrolled shiver as I'm finishing up. Do women have that at all? No, that's so weird. What's up guys? It's your 17th favorite YouTubers here and we're back with another video. Hey guys! Paige is in the hot seat today. I'm gonna ask her questions. Guys are too afraid to ask girls and she's gonna answer them. <gasps> Before we get started guys, we're linking our Twitch accounts down below because we're gonna get started streaming soon. If you wanna be a part of the early people, Click the follow. Oh yeah. I'm nervous. I've never been asked these questions before. I usually ask you these questions. We actually did this video once before on my channel. Really? Yeah. This is a part two. When you're platonic friends with a man, do you want to be treated exactly how he treats his male friends? Like the inside jokes, the yeah. tone, all that? Or is there an expectation to be treated differently as a woman? That's a really good question. Wow. Mm. Let's hear I... it. Do you just gulp like no, no, that was my throat. Is it like a hiccup burp She's thing? nervous. She's like mm. I feel like guys just automatically treat you differently though because you're a woman like I feel like I would like Okay, I feel like personally I would be like yeah Just treat me like how you treat Your guy friends because they're still gonna treat you a little bit different in the way that they're not gonna like assault you Not not assault. What's the word? Whoa. Fucking, what's the word? Whoa. What's this? What's this called? Ow. What's that called? Fucking assault. <laughs> That's not assault. What like, is it called? Hitting someone? Abuse? Maybe? Okay, like, 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 a guy is not gonna, like, tackle me the same way that he would tackle his friend, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, that's a stupid answer, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. Literally don't even listen to me, I don't know what I'm saying. But you're the girl, we're asking the questions to you. Guys ask girls questions. I would say yeah, I would say yeah, treat me different. Okay. With periods, is it a gush, a small leak, or more of a drip every so often? <laughs> Is it a gush? Is it a gush? Or is it a drip? Or is it a leak? <laughs> That's absolutely insane. True. What's the answer though? You know the answer. A flow? No. A river? Out of those three? A gush? What is it for me? A drip every so often. You think it's a drip every A so gush. Often. It's a gush. It's a gush. It's different for every lady, but like. Really? Yeah. It's different every for every lady or different times throughout the period? Both. Both. Because some people just have light periods. Like they just, they only leak or they only drop every so often. Like <laughs> They only was. drop every so often. Like what was it? <laughs> Wait, what was it called? Gush. No, the, the, every few minutes, every few. More of a drip every so often. Drip. Okay. Drip. Okay. So the answer is. All of the above. And it's different for everyone. Okay. For me, I'm a gusher. How uncomfortable is it for wear a... <laughs> How uncomfortable is it to wear a tampon? How do you know when you have to change it? Do women put deodorant in their boob pits? Uh, I don't, but I think some people do. If you have really big boobs... Yeah, if like, you got yeah. them gargantuan ones, probably should be... No, I feel like if mine were even there. a little bit bigger than mine right now, I feel like I would put deodorant on just because it's like it's a fold of your boobs the same way that it's a fold of your arm. They don't gotta be gargantuous. I guess, but what about the fold of your leg and like... Okay, wait, you know? can we... I, I used to put deodorant. No, I didn't. In the folds no, of your I leg? I tried it once. Anyways, moving on. What? Like in this... Oh my gosh. Okay. Shut up! No, also, wait, no. blur that out. Blur my feet out. No free feet. Wait, can we go back to the tampon thing? There is... You don't feel the tampon in you. Like... Like, if anything, you just feel this string. Because the tampon's inside of you. So, so you how do you feel know? It. Because you can, if you like, if you laugh, then you can like, okay. So if you're wearing a pad, right? So you're free bleeding. So the blood is just coming out all the time. But if you sneeze or if you laugh or if you do something that's like, it like forces it to go up a little bit so you can like feel it. So it kind of feels like it's like, you like feel it coming out of you. So okay. if you're wearing a tampon and if you're not leaking and you sneeze, you don't feel anything. But if you sneeze and then you feel it like come out, that's how you know that you have to change if it. If you sneeze, could it like pop out? No. But but if the blood has already gone through the entire tampon, then the blood will come out, which is why you can feel it. Man, I really feel for the women out there. Period. I really do. But usually people just know to like change their tampon like every few hours. If you're in the bathroom, just like change it, you know? Mm. I go to the gym and see women wear these sports bras that have like 10 straps. While I think that's a cool style, I wonder how they put it on and not get tangled in the straps. So what, what an kind idiot. Of what kind of, are these? What kind of dumb <laughs> with this question? 
Okay, answer that question. <laughs> You just put it on like a normal person would put on a shirt, yeah. idiot. Why is it that when I get excited about a subject I'm passionate about, I sometimes get excused of mansplaining? <laughs> I can't read. Accused of mansplaining. Why does he get accused of mansplaining when he talks about something he's passionate about? Literally, who is writing these questions? Well, answer it, because that's, no, that's not a uh, terrible no, one. Nobody would accuse you of mansplaining. That's if not true. You've done accused me of that when I'm just talking about something I'm happy about. No. Okay, because if I already know what it is, I'm like, you don't need to explain to me ex like what it is. See, the whole ten minute explanation. I feel it's like that's a mix up. About though. Something. I feel like that's a mix up though, because sometimes I just want to talk okay. about it again. No, listen to me. So let's say that me and my girlfriend, I'm talking about how much I love dance, and I meet this girl, and she also loves dance, and if I'm like, oh my gosh, I love dance so much. There's this thing, like usually a class starts where you like warm up first and then the girl goes, oh my gosh, I, I, I see videos. Like yeah, you warm up and then you, and then we're discussing. So it's not like she already knows and then she's like, yeah, I watch videos and I'm like, yeah, but no, it's like you warm up first and then you get to like improv. And then she's like, I know it's improv. And then you, and then I'm like, no, 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 like it's improv. But like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like explain it to her when she obviously already knows what it is. When we could just be passionate and have like a conversation together. You know what I mean? Um. So, but the thing is, sometimes if a guy thinks that he like knows things, and like if a girl's like, oh yeah, I I know what that is, and then he's like, no, you don't, because he thinks that he's like, okay. like you don't do that. I but, like, get, I get you, you it. Wanna, you know how I get it. Come but off. I feel like women can do that too. So we need to start using the term women splaining. Womsplaining. Yeah, womsplaining. Wom I'm gonna say that if you ever talk to me like and do that. But do I? No. I know. That's why that's not a thing. But I'm I'm pretty intellectual and knowledgeable. I mean, I guess, yeah. What kind of creepy behavior? Whoa. <laughs> that's Who is not writing even, these that's questions? That's not what it says. Wait, that's not what it says. Like, this is a I good just, video. No, I'm just, I'm dyslexic. No, I can't. this is a good video no. because I did not expect these questions. I thought it was going to be like, how do you like a guy? Like, okay, you know what okay. I mean? I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic. All right. <laughs> You're what, not. You can't what do that. kind of common behavior makes a guy seem creepy or unattractive? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna seem like an asshole for this, but I don't mean this like the exact way that I'm saying it. But if you like the girl too much, like if you like the girl too no. much and the girl's like obviously not interested in, in the guy, but he keeps trying to like it, text you well, all the time if and she's to hang not out. interested. Yeah. But that's yeah. the only reason, if you like a guy, it would not be creepy because you like him. Fellas, if she's not interested, keep it pushing. Go make yourself better. And then make her wish she was interested. Same goes for you ladies. Reverse it. Oh my gosh, you are become a motivational life speaker. Maybe we just touched somebody there. True, true. No, whoever needed that, yeah. Go get out there, get you some... Fake tanner? No, it's actually- <laughs> so, <laughs> I just tanned him and now he's all cocky about it. Okay, but listen, I feel like it's kind of crazy because I feel like if you don't, if you aren't attractive- No, okay, I feel like if you are attractive, whatever you do will just come off as you being like funny and weird and like not creepy. But I feel like when you're not attractive, well, it comes off as creepy. Well, no, I, I, I think feel creepy that. people are just creepy well, people. Well, I mean, like, what do you mean like creepy, like creepy, creepy or creepy like, like, this, like, the guy acts the same way as a girl, like, stalking the girl and seeing who follows her and, like, things like that. I mean, I don't think that's creepy. I feel like okay, that's good. a little weird. Wait, what does creepy even mean? What context like, are you just saying like, creepy in? Just, like, strange you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I think anything, like, following her or, like... Following her? Like, in real life? Yeah, like, following her Yeah, around. that's pretty... Creepy. Well, that's what like, was the fucking question? That's a little beyond. What was the question? I'm pretty sure that would classify <laughs> as like a felony. Well, yeah, but I'm, but I'm so confused. What does that even mean? So then what's creepy? I don't think that means creepy unless it's like... Creepy like... Um, or if they're like really touchy. Yeah, like being really yeah. touchy or like... <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Following you. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's called yeah. stalker. That's pretty okay. creepy. I, I think know. that's uh, jail time. Well, you asked me what was creepy and that's creepy, so... Yeah. Do women get the pee shiver? I know sometimes I'll be peeing and there's an uncontrolled shiver as I'm finishing up. Do women have that at all? No, that's so weird. I mean, not to judge, but like, like what? Why? Why? Have you ever had that? Absolutely. That's a every guy has that. So you're just peeing and then you just go. <laughs> kind of, yeah, <laughs> basically. But it's not every time. It's more like a. Is it like when you really have to pee? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I can't, or maybe when you're cold. I can't remember. It's just like. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I don't know. This is a video asking you questions, not me. How do we become friends with y'all? There are some women I've only talked to a few times, but I feel like we could have the dopest of friendships. Okay. No romantic stuff. Yeah. We could play Super Smash Brothers. Okay, but. So how does a guy become friends with you? Well, I think it's kind of hard because I think you have to have similar interests. The Trick same way question. that like, a girl would. Trick question. No guys should become friends with you. How did you look? <laughs> I can't read, bro. Bro, what? How did you deal with going from looking like a child to getting sexual attention in a short period of time? That's deep. Wow, this guy's asking all the questions. Dude, I think it's a bunch of dudes. They um, just lined them up and said, what question you no, want to I'm ask No, I'm curious, where you, where, what is this on? Buzzfeed. Wow. Um, I think you don't really realize that you're sexualized, I feel, until you're older. Like, I feel like you start getting sexualized when you're like a teenager. And then I feel like only now I'm looking back and being like, wow, like that, that was not right, you know? Or like, wow. Right. You know? Yeah. So, kind of sucks. Because looking back, I'm just like, man, I like, it's just like a scary situation, you know? But. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta, just, you gotta be careful and you have to be smart. I, I feel like they should teach more like safety tips about that stuff in school. Yeah, I think they should too, but I think it's just a sensitive topic because it, it's hard to teach it in a way that doesn't assume every guy of being like weird. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but like there's so many weirdos these days that I feel like it should be taught. Like yeah. maybe when you're like 15 years old in school or 14, because they already know about everything anyways. Yeah, so you and they're telling you not to drink, not to do to drugs, not to smoke. Yeah. But it, it's hard though because it's like even the people that you're friends with or even like even when you're young, like the people that are your age, you know? Even yeah. those guys. Why do many women have so many pillows on their beds <laughs> and couches? It's just like a, a nice, it just makes you feel like snuggly. And well, because men, we keep like a maximum of two pillows on the bed at all times. You know this. Yeah, you have exactly two pillows have two on your pillows. bed. And guess what? Never had any more than that. Actually, I had a big long one to lay behind the two pillows mm. for a while. Mm, that so sounds that's three. nice. So I went to three. Well, you should totally get one of those again. I, I should. That's a great idea. Huh? Oh my gosh. I'm going to order one. Yeah. Three. I have three pillows. That's it. Max. Yeah. But women like to have lots of pillows, allegedly. Yeah. Well, I just like it because I feel like I feel like for some reason, once you sleep on a Squishmallow, you never go back. Like Swiss Paige doesn't even use like real pillows. She just has just about 800 Squishmallows in her bed. They're just so. more comfortable than like regular pillows. How weird or unsafe do women feel if a man is walking behind them in a quiet <clears throat> area? Oh, okay. Every single time. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what time it is. Like that's just how it is because the odds of it happening are just like... Nah, we should totally you know? make... I was gonna say we should make a code word for like the men who are walking and just happen to be behind women, but they're actually good dudes. Well, then the bad but guys then, would just yeah, say then it the too. Bad guys would, but it was like, gonna, it's okay. It maybe good like, idea. maybe, <laughs> I don't know. No, I, yeah, yeah, but I totally get that. But no, it's still scary only because you just, you never know, you know? Not Nothing against the guy, it's just like. Hey girl, my house is this way. How about that? I, that would be more scary. Really? Because it seems like you're trying to cover up. Like, I don't know, it's both, it's both. I, if, I, if it was That's me, so I crazy. literally would either stop walking and like go Stop. into a store or oh, something oh. and then wait for them and then pass and then go or like go to the other side of the street yeah. which i feel like that's but then also i feel like that's cause that's like so rude because i don't want them to think that i'm like thinking nah, about it i don't i don't think that's rude if so. somebody did that well if a girl if i was walking just like minding my business and the girl in front of me was like scared and like looking back and like runs into a store yeah i would be like do i really look scary as but no, then but I would you, be like, I girls, understand. Girls, like, don't though. know what you I get look it. like. I get it. Like, I feel like if I was a guy and I was walking behind a girl, I would immediately walk on the other side of the street. Like, on the other sidewalk. Because, like, you already know that the girl is feeling scared. So you might as well just go on the other side and then walk. You know what I mean? I mean, like, not that you have to go the extra step. I but mean, not necessarily. You to, like, I don't think... Do all girls get scared? I think every single girl got scared. Only because you don't know what or who or Dude, like... Dude, especially in this day and age. Yeah, there's I, so many stories yeah. of pe things that happen. It's like you can't risk oh, yeah. it. So nah. it's like you always have to be aware. Like those I, women I getting punched in New York. Yeah, man. That's what I'm Crazy. saying. You just never know people. And that's why you, you can never be too like safe about it. You yeah, know? That's... It doesn't hurt you to be worried. Do the murmur... Mur <laughs> Jack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, they're going to make fun of me because I can't read. All right. I'm Bella Thorne. Do the majority of women out there prefer a man with a deeper voice? 
That's a great question. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I've like never paid attention to someone's voice, like their, their, uh, like their highness or lowness of Type voice. Shit. Yeah, I feel you. All right. We'll move on okay. to the next question. All right. <laughs> like, but I think if their voice is really high, then I would be like, hmm. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Do women prefer men to be open and direct about their intentions when dating or is the necessity for new... They're using like crazy words <laughs> and just answer it from there. I can't even read it. It's a whole paragraph of like dictionary sh Like really like nuance. <laughs> nuance. Dude, no wonder they have a lot of questions for women. They've never talked to them. <laughs> They're using words like nuance. All right, come on. What does what does nuance mean? That's a great question. Oh I don't know. Okay, well. What does it mean? What was the question? What again? does it mean? Like nuance. You don't know what it means either. Don't try to make That's me look dumb. That's why that guy should not talk to women because no one knows. <laughs> I think you should feel it out a little bit. Feel it out. We started dating because we knew each other's morals, our goals, like what we believe in, like things like that. You know what I mean? So I guess that is part of it, right? Is that what that means? Like. I, I don't know. I don't even remember the question. <laughs> Do you prefer dad bods, full on ripped muscles, or jacked but not too jacked? Skinny bod wasn't an option, but we'll throw that one in there too. Uh, I think, I think everybody has their own preferences. I like this. What can we safely compliment? What? Our, safely, sorry. Safely. <laughs> what can men safely compliment about women? Like, like Oh, okay, my hair. Your hair? Okay. I think I think hair is really like safe and it's like not weird at all. Like if someone's like, oh your hair looks weird, I'm what like, about, oh my gosh, like, thanks. You know what I mean? What about eyes? No, eyes is flirty. That's no, but like what's safe though? That's not safe. I would think that you're flirting with me. It's good. I think eyes are a little bit far. I, like if someone called in my eyes, I'd be like, thanks, and I would be like, eh. You know what, what about I mean? eyebrows? Like that's nice. Mm. Like things that are not something that like I would say to you like I I'm always like I love your eyes like your eyes are so pretty you know what I mean but if another girl was like oh your eyes are so pretty I would be like shut the fuck up because like why are you telling him that his eyes are pretty you know uh. but if a girl was like your eyebrows would look really good uh, I wouldn't like that either but <laughs> <laughs> what do women talk about in the bathroom when they leave to go to the bathroom <clears throat> uh everything I feel like because usually when we go to the bathroom together like you're either talking about well I feel like it's just, it's just normal conversation. Yeah. Things that you would talk about when you're outside, but you're talking about in the bathroom. Unless you're like at a party or something and someone likes someone, then you talk about their ability. Do women like booty on guys? I go to the gym and I don't have a big butt. Or don't want a big butt, sorry. That's, a guy said that? Mm-hmm. Well, personally, I love my booty on you. Okay, all right, weirdo. <laughs> you're so weird. Guys, that was all the questions. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. We would really appreciate that. Also, follow our new Twitch channels down in the description because we're going to start streaming. And if you watch streams, you might as well pop in and see ours. Um, I'll link Paige's YouTube channel. I love you guys. Peace.